All right, just a quick little thing for everyone. Um, one of the things that I get emails and some phone calls about, uh, and it usually comes from, and no offense intended, but inexperienced knife makers, um, belt splitters. For heaven's sakes, don't waste your money. You know, I've seen them for $24.95 on up to like 60 bucks. You can buy a lot of belts for 24 bucks. Um, if you're dealing with anything finer than an X weight backing, J is and finer, all you have to do on any of those belts is you find the belt splice, basically where they're put together on the back. Then you go above or below that splice, fold it. You don't have to create a sharp 90 or a sharp uh, crease there. Then all you have to do is make sure the edges are lined up, grab it where you want it, and then just go be a little careful when you get down here. If you try to jerk it all at once, sometimes you'll tear that little piece in half. But, and yeah, there's threads and other little things. Those are easy to get rid of. But now, and this belt will run, you can split this belt in half again if you so desire, but this belt will run, and even half this belt width will run on any slack belt attachment, provided the grinder's tracking is correct. So just a quick little tip there that'll save you some money, save you some time, and hopefully you can make that useful. Okay, for other videos, both free and paid, you can check us out at knifemakertraining.com. Uh, also, our Facebook, Facebook group, excuse me, Knife Maker Training. And if you have any questions or you want to see any videos in the future, you can contact myself, you can contact Legacy Studio Productions, or get on the Facebook group any way you can get a hold of us. So anyway, thanks very much. There's a cool trick for you.